Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a weekly reading for Cancer from the 2nd to the 8th of December 2019. Please don't forget to watch Moon and Rising Sign for a more complete picture. If you'd like a personal reading, please go to my website jessmad.co.uk and book a reading. I've put the decks that I'm using in the description box and I've put in links to Amazon and eBay. So please follow these links to view or to buy the decks. And don't forget to watch my videos on Simple Energy Healing Remedies, my deck walkthrough series as well as my uh, series on gemstones and crystals. You'll find those interesting. So please uh, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now I'm starting off with the general energy read, and I am using the mythical goddess tarot for it, and the first card is the child of earth. So this is the page uh, of pentacles, and this is about uh, maybe a new offer coming in or some news coming in with regards to a new job that you want to start. It seems like you're starting right from the beginning uh, with this particular project. But it's going to grow into something really great. Uh, so, you know, abundance will be coming in for it. So you've got some new plans and new ideas and some news is coming in about this new job that you you want to start. And it's going to end up being pretty successful as well. There's something long term about it. It's about, you know, you laying the foundations and you'll be able to make great progress with this particular job. It's going to also involve working with a lot of people and a lot of travel coming in as well with that uh, particular job. Uh, you know, a lot of overseas travel, a lot of collaboration coming in over there. And it's going to be something that you're going to be very, very happy with. There's a lot of energy that will go in. You've got sun sitting here in Aries. So this is about a lot of your personal energy and, you know, your personal passion going into this particular project. Now you've got uh, the four of seeds over here. So this is about this new offer that has been coming in. So this is news coming in about that offer. So something has been presented to you, moon sitting in cancer there. Uh, so this is about news coming in pretty quickly over there, taking you out of the dark putting you out into the light over there. This offer coming in over there, it's something that you've been waiting for for a long time and you're waiting for that news to come in and it's going to come in and it's going to be a positive outcome for it because you're going to be working with a lot of people and there's a lot of travel that is going to be coming in with that, a lot of collaboration. Your horizons are broadening there. Now, in the past, you've got the sacred law over there, so there might have been some legal issue that you had been dealing with and it caused a lot of emotional turmoil. Uh, but you are protecting yourself from it. Uh, it seems like you're not allowing it to get to you. So you have been going through some kind of... Um it, this could be even divine intervention because it's, uh, you know, sacred law. So this is divine justice that has come into play. But whatever is going on around you, you're ignoring it now. You're uh, not allowing it to get to you and you are focusing now more on yourself and your work. Now going to the future... You've got intention over here. This is Six of Swords. This is about leaving behind very, very difficult situations. So the conflict is now over and you're moving away to a calmer atmosphere now. You know, there's a much more spiritual knowledge that came to you, but you are, uh, you know, getting your balance back again with that Six of Swords. And you've got the Seas over here, the Two of Seas. So this is about, uh, you know, partnerships, uh, friendships, advice coming in for you, support coming in for you there with that uh, two of cups so some really good uh, relationship coming in and this could be a love relationship but this could also be a really good working relationship that is coming in a lot more harmony uh, somebody that's there to advise you support you and is on the same page that you are and brings in that emotional stability as well for you there so you know something really good coming in for you but your career is really taking off in a really big way you're getting to meet a lot of people and there'll be a lot of travel uh, coming in for you over there so those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to draw some cards from the Mystic Monday Tarot. Okay, so you've got the Eight of Cups there. So uh, the Eight of Cups, the Devil, um, you've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is basically your energy. You're still feeling, you know, you've started something brand new, a brand new uh, cycle possibly in your life, or even brand new projects. You may have even started a new job. You're still thinking about the past quite a bit. You're looking into it a lot. Maybe you're thinking about the past a lot and maybe a little bit upset about it as well. You may have been dealing with an earth sign person uh, who has caused problems for you. You've got that queen of pentacles. But this card is also a card about you being 
financially independent and that's been coming in for you and so although you're a bit depressed about the past it looks like you know you're getting back on track as far as your career goes as far as your focus goes and your security is coming back with that queen of pentacles you might have been dealing with somebody that was very very controlling or you might be feeling as though that work that you're doing right now is very controlling of your life you might be working long hours uh, you know your goal is to become uh, the best at uh, whatever you're doing and it is uh, you know it's almost like somebody's dying a carrot at you and that is uh, manipulating you into doing certain things like I said with this devil card you might be working long hours or you can even be dealing with somebody on the work front that could possibly be giving you a little bit of a hard time over there you got the eight of cups and this is about walking away from difficult situations so something that's not emotionally fulfilling or there's something that you put a, a lot of effort into you're giving it up and you're leaving it and you're making plans on moving forward so you're about to take that jump that leap of faith but you're leaving things behind and you know you want to go your own route over there but the money is coming in that financial independence is coming in over there and you're getting back on track uh you're getting um you know people are going to start recognizing you since she's got that coin that looks like the world in her hand you might be thinking about traveling as well with that job so there might be a lot more travel maybe it was uh, holding you back that job and you might be deciding to give it up in order for you to move forward maybe you're feeling a little stuck in that in the rut there now you've got a judgment so you are at a point where you are trying to make a decision and you can see taking that leap of faith she's sitting at the edge there uh you know of something bigger so it looks like the road is going to be opening for you you are being called upon to make a decision to change your life with the king of cups that's your energy that's your card you're taking offers and you're moving on and you know you are very very strong in your belief system right now you know what you want um, you're standing up in your energy there and you're not letting any emotional turmoils or problems get to you there you know you are uh, somebody uh, that is very reliable and people turn to you for help and assistance um, but you're also standing up very firm in your belief system as well there's an ace of cups over here so there's some kind of new offer that has come in for you and this is possibly the offer that you will be taking and moving on uh, you know breaking away from uh, whatever you've been tied to so this could be starting uh, fresh somewhere else a new home this could also be international travel overseas travel coming in for you there there is a need for you to get your balance back as well and not overexert yourself or overextend your resources so make sure that you uh, don't focus on one thing too much so get that balance in order over there and also with that temperance card make sure you're getting some advice from somebody uh, listen to advice that comes in as well this could be the thing that uh, you know steers you in the right direction over there with that temperance card temperance card is also about you know watch your health make sure that you're looking after your body and your mind uh, that's important to keep that in balance as well you've got the hierophant card here so this is about getting advice from somebody uh, the temperance card is also about getting advice as well uh, but the hierophant card is also about be taking on some kind of teaching role so maybe you're thinking about taking on a mentoring role uh, making a change a difference to a lot of people you're suddenly an expert at what you do and with that king of cups energy you know you have something that people need and maybe this is what you're going to be doing, uh, taking on a teaching role or a mentoring role. So you've got the five of pentacles. You have been feeling really neglected, uh, feeling isolated, uh, you know, feeling as though you've been let go from, uh, from the crowd, really. Uh, so this is a sense of loss, a sense of insecurity coming in over there. Uh, maybe whatever you dealt with in the past, um, you know, if you have... You may have had some financial issues or financial problems, um, you know, going on and, you know, you've been trying to just keep everything together financially as well. But you're feeling very unsupported in this particular, uh, at this particular time. Uh, you're very, very isolated, uh, a bit depressed as well, uh, coming through that. And you are worried about money with that Five of Pentacles. You've been spending a lot of time by yourself. You are making plans for the future, but maybe this is a deliberate isolation from everybody else because you have been let down with that Five of Pentacles. Somebody has not uh, fulfilled the end of the deal. It seems like you've been, uh, you know, in conflict with somebody over there. There might have been a truce that has been struck between the two of you, but the truth has been bent it seems like there was a lot of lies and deceit that was spoken there and this has led you to feel very disappointed in this person you're feeling pretty heartbroken about whatever happened so somebody didn't come through for you and because of that you know you've tended to isolate yourself 
uh, from everybody else. You're spending a lot more time by yourself. Now going to the future, you've got the Six of Cups, the Lovers, and the Three of Cups. So this is about to change here. With the Six of Cups, it's about getting together with friends, uh, you know, people that really, um, you know, you relate to. And it seems like there's some kind of reunion coming up over there with that Six of Cups. There could even be a love situation that comes out of it. You've got the Lovers card over here. Now, this is usually as a choice card, but since it's sitting with all these uh, cups, it seems like there might be a relationship that is on the horizon for you there. So you might be meeting a soulmate somebody that you connect with and it's a, it, it might be a very physical relationship that you have with this person but also a very spiritual relationship that you have with this person you certainly um, are getting together with friends celebrating something there these people are people that you emotionally connect with so after going through a heartbreak it seems like you know um, you might be meeting somebody through a group of friends uh, you might be introduced to somebody, you know, a blind date that you meet uh, by chance uh, by going out to some kind of social event um, and that ends up being something very significant. Uh, so don't isolate yourself anymore. It's time for you to get out there and it's time for you to meet people because that is where you're going to open the door for any new relationships to come in. If that's what you're looking for because you have been spending a lot of time by yourself. So this card has come out of the deck. Um, and let's do two more. So you've got um, prayer. And it's time to renew your faith and trust in the greater power. Know that your prayers will be answered with action and faith. So expect a miracle. Trust in the powers of prayer. You need to connect with the divine. And if you're asking for something, it looks like it's going to be granted to you. So whatever your wish is, the divine seems to want to bring that into your experience. There's the cleansing card. So this card indicates letting go of the past going through the process of self-cleansing and self-awareness. Uh, inner knowing develops, bringing new outlook, a new beginning. So you are letting go of the past, or you do need to let go of it, uh, rid yourself of it, and make room for a new beginning. You've been spending a lot of time crying about the past. You can even see with this Five of Pentacles, looking to the past and thinking about the past. But it's time for you to break that cycle now and start moving forward. Allow yourself to go out there and go and have some fun. Especially with that three of uh, cups. Go and have some fun. Let your hair down a bit. Battle. At this time, a battle with a loved one or friend could indicate a struggle in a career or a job may lead to an ending. Possibly a battle within oneself. Seek peace through pay prayer and meditation. So there is some Conflict still still going on over there, and you can see that's still going on with somebody from the past, um, you know, and uh, you need to pray about it. Uh, you need to even bring in that ending. You need to manifest an ending in order for you to uh, go forward. So this, um, you know, there's still a lot of lies that are going on, and this battle doesn't seem to be coming to an end. Both of you seem to be equally matched. There's a stalemate situation there. So it's up to you to make uh, or break uh, that situation and it's it's time for you to move on so get out there and go and socialize and go and have some fun let your hair down a little bit get out of this really uh, you know heavy energies because it seems like there's a lot of head heavy energies you need to take the plunge and an emotional plunge and you need to let go of all that that has been keeping you back I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Angel Tarot. You've got the Awakening card over here. So look at things from a different perspective. A temporary standstill. It is important to be yourself. So get out there and you know do things that are different. Things are feeling a bit stuck. Uh, but if you look at it from a different point of view and you put a positive spin on it, they should improve for the better. You've got the Eight of Water. And this is a walking away from all that emotional ties and emotional baggage. A desire to move on. And uh, the search for something more significant in your life, spiritual and emotional growth. So there again, the Eight of Cups appearing again. So you do need to turn your back on that past and move forward for something better to come in. There's news coming in over here. So good news about financial matters, waiting to do something more challenging and a new area of study. So there could be some study coming in over here. Like I said, you've got the Hierophants. This is about teaching, studying, learning, or, you know, this is about education and knowledge there for you. Uh, and that's coming in over here. And you've got some good news coming in about financial matters over there. Uh, so something positive coming in. But there's a big change coming in for you, a new direction that you're going to be pursuing. And uh, you need to allow yourself to go and have a little bit of fun and get out of this very, very negative energies that you've been going through. 
true. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.